All right, this is day number three of my ADF routine. And uh, today, if you look at the list, I might go ahead and repost it. Uh, we're doing um, salmon today. So this is the one without the skin. It's just, you know, uh, no skin on both sides. One for me, one for my wife. Got some boiled eggs ready for lunch. And I'm gonna have two of these with my breakfast as well. I'm gonna make my greens. And I'm gonna have um, my apple cider vinegar this morning. I'm also gonna saute some, um, some mushrooms and some uh, zucchini. And that'll be my breakfast. My lunch is gonna be uh, a couple chicken legs and a salad that I've, that I've already prepared. So that's it, we're ready to go. All right, so this is lunchtime for ADF meals, or ADF day three, alternate day fasting day three. And uh, I went ahead and showed this on uh, my um, social media this morning in the group this morning. Uh, this is just some eggs. I've uh, got two egg whites, some uh, romaine and some spring mix, and then uh, some pickles right here. I think it's a little bit windy. I didn't really think this out. I'm actually at beautiful Clyde Warren Park right now, which is pretty neat. Let me uh, take these notifications off. There's a bird. Let's see. Let's see if this bird wants some lettuce. You want lettuce? No, I don't think he wants lettuce. Maybe he wants some chicken. So let's see. It's kind of. Oh no, he's gone. All right. Here, here I am. Beautiful Clyde Warren Park. All right. So. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rest of my lunch here. Interesting. Yeah, thank you. And this is um, two, two chicken legs right here. And some asparagus. All right. Made that this morning. Okay. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna shred this into my, into my salad. And uh, what I wanted to talk about was a keto diet, ketogenic diet. Because you know, everybody wants to do keto, but at the end of the day, keto may not even be the best thing, and this is why. This is what keto is for. Keto is for patients with cancer and patients with, um, with epilepsy, okay? This is what it was designed for, but people use it to lose weight. And uh, the reason it works is because uh, on a standard American diet, we are we're encouraged to get a whole bunch of carbs, okay? We're encouraged to get like two to 300 grams of carbs per day. But that's just uh, too many if you're trying to cut weight because they store as fat, especially if you're not moving around, right? So, so what's the alternative? What's the, you know, what do we do? Well, if you, if you I mean, you're not gonna get a lot of protein, you know, you're not gonna eat a mostly protein meal, so, what you do is you trade the fats for trade the proteins for fats. So then you eat fats instead of protein, and so that's why you jump up the fats, bring the bring the. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you get fats instead of uh, carbohydrates, and so yeah, you you basically cut your carbohydrates and replace them with fats. So doing this in a keto diet is a way to kind of trick your body. The, the thing is, fats won't induce a strong insulin response. They won't spike your insulin the way that carbohydrates will. And the way that um, that a large a large amount of protein will okay, and so that's why they do this. That's why they promote this diet. The diet works so well because you're just trading one source of energy for another, and it's uh, less of an insulin spike and it's more satiating. You feel fuller when you have a um, whenever you have a high fat diet. Okay, that's why it works so well for weight loss, especially whenever you're new to a weight loss routine, or you know if you if you're it's you're new to a ketogenic diet. And you're not used to eating uh, with portion control. Uh, th this is uh, this is what helps you get through it. Now, once you're once you've already gotten the discipline down, once you you're already able to fast or or eat with uh, with controlled portions, 
then then why would you put so much fat in? Why would you add fat? Why would you add butter? Why would you why would you add the the egg yolk? You know, I mean, this stuff is all amazing and great for whenever uh, you're first getting into the routine. But after after you're already disciplined, then you don't need to have all the fats. It's just way too much fat. You know, that's a because the fat is going to store as fat if you have too much of it. So, um, you know, you're just trading one calorie for another calorie. You know, you're just want, trading one macronutrient, the carbs, for another macronutrient, the fat. So if you don't burn it, it's also going to store as fat. So that's why um, that's why what I'm doing with the ADF routine. I actually I changed the routine. Um, I've modified it. You know, it's going to it's gonna be modified. It's going to evolve. And, uh, you know, it's it's not a forever thing. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry about the wind. I know it's windy here. So that that's what I'm that's what I'm doing now. I'm um, I'm actually trying to modify this. That way, I end up getting um, a lot more protein and less fat and uh, like almost zero carbs. So what I want to do is try to get more protein than than fat. So today I have about 150 grams of protein, and uh, and I think it was only like 55 or 60 grams of fat. Um, so, so that's my goal. I'm trying to put in more protein to build muscle at the same time, less fat because I don't need it because I don't need to feel satiated. I've got plenty of body fat. You know, I'm not going to be at a caloric deficit, you know, just because I'm even, even though my, my basal metabolic rate is like 15, 14, 1500 right now. And, um, and, uh, I'm only eating like 900 maybe, or today I'm eating 1200 calories. So I'm still, I'm at a deficit for my exogenous food intake, but I'm not, I'm not going to be at a deficit. My body will not be at a deficit because I got plenty of body fat to burn. So anything that I don't have as far as exogenous food or exogenous um, fats, I'm going to be getting from my endogenous, my in, my inside fats. Okay, my body fat. So so that's what uh that's that's my new um, my new recipe, my new routine or my new philosophy. And the reason I'm doing that is because uh, I, you know I wasn't uh, I was noticing that I wasn't losing weight, and it and it had to do with uh, with the macronutrients. Okay, so yeah, this is um, this is some chicken my wife made last night in the air fryer with some with some pork rind crumbs. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be healthy. It's not too fat. I mean, I'm, I'm eating the skin, which whatever. I know it's a lot of fat, but whatever. Um, and uh, I got one more thing here. I thought I had some. Oh yeah, right here. Cottage cheese. All right, so this is half a cup of some. Daisy cottage cheese. This is the cheap stuff right here. They just put less salt in it. You know, they charge you a lot more for the name brand or for the fancy stuff. And uh, I just put my own salt in it. All right, so I'm gonna cut up these eggs. Yeah, that's. I just wanted kind of to talk, kind of wanted to talk about keto and I wanted to break my fork to make it harder today. It's gonna maybe I'm gonna burn more calories since I'm having to use this bunk fork. All right. So yeah, that's it. This is going to be my salad now. This is what I'll eat. This is super delicious, super filling. And uh, I'll start my fast right after this. So after this, it might be a 40, 42 hour fast until 8 a.m. on Friday morning. And so, yeah, this will hold me over till then. I won't do any snacking. I'll just uh, wait. I won't drink anything uh, besides water and snake juice tomorrow. And then I'll just wait for, uh, for Friday for my next feed. Awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, this so this may conclude the video I don't think I'm gonna uh, add my workout today uh, so this this might be it for today I just wanted to do uh, just one quick little video um, and I'll just mash it up with the one from this morning and then uh, and then that'll be it for today and then we'll, we'll just go to ADF day three or I'm sorry day four tomorrow awesome all right thank you and uh, remember eat healthy buy Bitcoin